you. He wants to take away your depression. He wants to take away your anxiety. He wants to take away your fear. I'm about to do the last call and here's the last call, ready? Right here, I want you to hear me very clearly. If you're thinking of thinking of coming, don't think about it anymore and, wait one second, and then, if you don't want to come alone, here's the trick, ready? Simply turn to the person next to you and say, hi. <laughs> I really want to go up there, will you come with me? And they'll say yes. Right now, wait in front of the 10 people with friends, right now. Who? Last call, right now, from the youngest to the oldest, you need to make, you need to make this decision. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, waiting for at least four more people. Father God, we thank you so much that you are so kind, you're so gentle. We thank you, Lord, that you love us. There's nothing that we can do that will ever separate us from you and your love. Father, as long as we give you our yes and we mean it, and we pursue you, and we seek you, we find you, we find this hope. God, sometimes we don't feel like we're hope-filled. Sometimes we still feel depressed. Sometimes we still get scared. But we thank you, Lord, that when we give you our yes and we trust in you, despite what we see, despite what we feel, we know that you are with us. We thank you, Lord, for faith. We thank you, Lord, that that in itself, faith, is a gift. We thank you for this gift. We thank you that it's this gift that gives us the ability to stand and come forward to make our life right with you, to believe Jesus that you died on the cross for our sins, that you rose again, that you did say that you were fully man and fully God, and that one day all evil and sadness would stop, and that one day we'd all be in heaven. We thank you for that faith. We thank you, Lord, for that belief. But we thank you, Lord, that our faith and our belief is true. We ask, God, that you would be with us and protect us, we pray for cancer to be gone and arms and legs to grow and blind eyes to see. With any other miracle we desire or need right now, we thank your Holy Spirit that you would breathe in new life and hope like never before. And we thank you, Lord, that you bless us. Bless us, God, for peace and this trust in you. If you're on the front, please repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear God, I come to you today and I thank you for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'll never be perfect. And today, I thank you that even though I'm a sinner, you still love me. You've always loved me. And today, I ask you to forgive me, to change me, and give me strength to turn away from sin. I want to live for you. I give you my broken heart and all the things going on. I ask you to help me. Carry me, heal me, and renew me. Holy Spirit, fill me. Give me faith and teach me how to pray and walk with you day by day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's give God a shout of praise. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that God loves you. I want you to know that he has heard your prayer. 
I want you to know that any sincere prayer of forgiveness of sin has been heard and God is not slow to respond. You've now been adopted into the family of God as you have chosen to walk away from your sin. Now, if you say the F-bomb or something like that tomorrow, or you going to hell tomorrow? Hell no. <laughs> as long as you're, sorry Tim, as long as you're sincere, yes? There are some things, some addictions, some things that may, you know, linger on a little bit. But you push forward, man. You get counseling, man. You get this community behind you. You don't have to do this alone. You know, alone. We're going to help you along the way. We're not going to judge you. We love you. We love you. There is healing. We love you. Healing of betrayal. Healing of shame. You're not condemned because Jesus already died for it. And now you believe it. That's what's changed. And so today, take courage. You're going to be okay. You may not always feel okay, but you're going to be okay. Why? Because <laughs> now God's with you. You committed to be with him. When you fall, when you fail, he'll pick you up. He'll give you all the strength that you need to keep on going. If you don't have a home church, welcome to your home church. Seriously. Welcome to the family. This is your family. Tomorrow morning, you might wake up and say, okay, what do I do now? Well, we want to help you with the next steps, and we'd love to connect with you. The only way to connect with you, to ask you, how can we pray for you? How can we pray for your family? How can we help you? Is there anything that we can do for you? The only way to do that is if we can connect with you. The only way to connect with you is if you give us a contact detail of some sort. And if right now the volunteers can come forward with papers and pens, or you can even text us, why connect with us? Here's the one last reason. Ready? I want to give you seven videos over the next seven days to encourage you and the next seven days right now since this decision that you cannot find on the internet. And I want to help you and encourage you along the way. So right now, get your phone out. You can text us or you can write down on a card and a piece of paper and a pen right now. There's going to be this text up here. You text the word hope. To nine two, uh, sorry, nine seven two three nine three two six two five. If you're watching online, you can text us that that one as well. We want you to know that we love you, so please text us. Get a card, get a pen, start filling out that card. Give us the cards back. We'd love to connect with you, Pastor Tim. Please come on stage. Love you. Love you, Nick. Thank you so much, man. Church, can we thank God for his life, for his ministry? All of our friends have been here up in the front. Thank you so much. Make sure that you text that word home to the number there on the screen. And if you uh, would prefer to use paper copy, our volunteers have that for you. Nick, thank you so much. We uh, we love Nick and Kanae and their family and the ministry of Life Without Limbs. And, um, for those who are here from our local church, we gave you the opportunity 